Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can build alarm clock using DS3231 RTC module. DS3231 module has built-in alarm facility, so we will use that and it also has built-in temperature sensor, so we will also use that. In my previous video, I have shown all the details of DS3231 module and how you can use it for setting and getting the date and time in the RTC module using Arduino serial monitor and using I2C LCD. In today's video, I am going to build a clock with manual date and time adjustment and two alarms and a temperature display. So let us have a look for this project what we require. We need one Arduino Nano or compatible board. You can use Arduino Uno if you have. We need one DS3231 RTC module. We need one 2004 LCD screen with I2C module. We need four push buttons. We need one LED. We need one buzzer, preferably a 5 volt active buzzer. We need 100 ohm resistance. We need one 3 volt coin cell battery that is LR2032. We need a breadboard if we are making a prototype and if you are making it permanent then you can solder it directly and we need a few jumper wires to connect the components. Now let's have a look at the circuit diagram. In this project, I used the DS3231 RTC module. This board basically contains the main chip which is the DS3231 to pull up resistors 4.7K, SCL that is serial clock, SDA that is serial data and interrupt or SQW that is square wave generator lines and a coin cell battery holder. There is also a 24C32 EEPROM and some other resistors. We have also used a 20 by 4 LCD display which has an I2C module attached to minimize the wiring. The DS3231 board is supplied with 5 volt and the 2004 LCD as well. This 5 volt comes from the Arduino board. There are three data lines connected between this board and the Arduino. The SCL is connected with the analog pin 5 of the Arduino and that is also connected with the SCL pin of the I2C module. The SDA is connected with the analog pin A4 of the Arduino and that's also connected with the SDA pin of the I2C module of the LCD display. And the SQW or interrupt line is connected with the digital pin 2 of the Arduino which is the external interrupt pin of the Arduino. The DS3231 interrupts the microcontroller when there is an alarm, either alarm 1 or alarm 2. In the circuit, there are 4 push buttons B1, B2, B3 and B4. These buttons are used to set the time, calendar and alarms and also to control the LCD backlight. Time and calendar can be adjusted with B1 and B2. Button B1 selects the time or date parameter. Time parameters are hours and minutes and date parameters are day of the week, date, month and year. And B2 increments the selected parameter. Button B3 and B2 adjust the alarm 1 and alarm 2 parameters, hours, minutes and on off. Button 3 selects the parameter and button 2 increments the selected parameter. Button 4 is used to turn the backlight on or off. Also, there is a buzzer and an LED at the pin number 7 of the Arduino. The buzzer will make the alarm sound, alarm 1 or alarm 2. So if there is an alarm, the DS3231 pulls down the interrupt pin which interrupts the microcontroller and the microcontroller plays an alarm tone in the buzzer and the LED will blink with the alarm. Here, button 2 stops the playing alarm. We need to hold it for a moment and the playing alarm will stop. These buttons B1, B2, B3, B4 are connected with the digital pin 3, digital pin 4, digital pin 5 and digital pin 6. So this is our circuit. Now we will move on to the Arduino sketch and we will see what's there in the sketch. And here is the Arduino sketch. This code is very simple to understand. All the necessary parts have been commented well. So if you just go through the sketch once you can easily understand which part is doing what. But still, I am just explaining it briefly and I will give you the download link for the sketch and the library in the description section. So you can easily download it from there and you can use it in your project. So at the very beginning, we have initiated one liquid crystal library for the LCD. Since it's I2C LCD, we have used the library. I will give the library link for download. Then we have used wire.h. It's for the I2C device communication. We have not used any library for the 
DS3231 module, we will directly access the registers of the module. Then we have initiated the object LCD of liquid crystal type. We have given the address and this is the size of the LCD 20 by 4. Then we have declared buttons, a variable for the backlight, buzzer pin defined. This is the frequency and duration of the alarm sound. You can change if you need it. This section is also for adjusting the alarm. Then in the setup section, we have defined all the pin modes and set the initial values. We have initialized the LCD. We have initialized the wire communication. We have attached the interrupt for the alarm. Then we have cleared the LCD and then turned on the LCD backlight. These are some variable required by the programs. Then here in this function DS3231 read, we have read the value from the register of the 3231 module. Then in this function, we have read the alarm and temperature, all the necessary functions for converting BCD to decimal. Then we have displayed the temperature and alarm. Then in the calendar display, we have displayed the name of the day, then the date, month and year. Then DS3231 displays another function where we have displayed the hour, minute and second. Then this is the blink function. When in the setup mode, the cursor blinks. This is the blink function. And this is the edit function when we are editing the time or date or the alarm. This function is for that. And then here is a beep beep function. This is used for the alarm sound. And in the loop section, we have displayed the time, date, the alarm time. All the data is displayed in this section. Most of the lines are commented well, so you can understand it very easily. I just explained it briefly. If you have any confusion or if you want clarification of any section in detail, please feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll definitely explain that over email. Now we will look at the prototype of the clock. This is the prototype of the clock that we are discussing about. To save the time, I am not building the prototype on video. I have already connected everything. I have explained it in the circuit diagram. So hope you can understand. But still, if you have any confusion, please feel free to ask me in the comments. So this is button 1, this is button 2, this is button 3, this is button 4. This one is the LCD module. It is fitted with an I2C module. This is the I2C module. If we did not use the I2C module, we have to wire it with 7 or 8 wires. But with the I2C module, it just came up into 4 wires. 2 for the power and 2 for the data. And this is the DS3231 module. It's also fitted with a 2032 battery. Here is the buzzer and this is the LED. And obviously this is the Arduino Nano. You can use any version of the Arduino, but just check the pin configuration from the circuit that which pin you are using for what. Now we will upload the sketch and see the demonstration. So let's go to the desktop, uploading it and now coming to the screen. See, as soon as the code is uploaded, it started showing the date, time and the alarm. The first line, it's showing the time. We have already set the time in the DS3231 module. So it has taken the accurate time from there. It's showing the temperature that is 33.25. Then in the second line, it's showing the calendar. It's Thursday 9th, May 2024. This is the alarm one time and it's showing on. And this is alarm 2, this is the alarm 2 time and this one is showing off. Now I will show you the function of the buttons. So let's begin with adjusting the time. For adjusting time, we will press button 1, this blue button. So I am pressing it. You see, as soon as I press the button, the 20 started to blink. So I can change it by pressing the red button, it will increase. It's a 24 hour clock. Although the DS3231 supports 12 hour and 24 hour, we have made the clock 24 hour to keep it simple. So we will adjust the time. It's 20. So 20. Then we will press this button. It will move it to the minutes adjustment. So we are making it 12, 13, 14. Then it will move to the day of the week section. So we can change it also, we set it to Thursday, then we can change the date of the month. We can make it say it was 9, you can make it 10, 
then it will adjust the month we can make it six then its year we can change it to anything we are making it 27 then if we press the button one the time will set and it will continue from the time that we have adjusted so this is the date and time changing now we will show the changing of alarm how to adjust the alarm for changing the alarm we have to press button 3 now we press the button 3 and the alarm time starts to blink it will also increase by this button so we are setting it to 20 then we are pressing it one more time it moves to minute it's 16 we are setting it at 17 then time on we can change it to on or off we are making it on then it goes to set the alarm 3 then we can also change it to on or off the alarm did not start because the time has already passed so we are going to change it once more instead of 17 we are making it 18 so this time the alarm is set to 8 18 pm now let's see wait for some time i am fast forwarding it to save the time You see as soon as the time matches with the alarm time the buzzer started to make sound and the LED is also blinking with the buzzer and to stop the alarm we have to press the button 2. So we press the button 2 and the alarm stopped and the timer also here showing that its alarm is off. So this is the function of button 1, button 2 and button 3. Button 1 is for setting the date and time. Button 2 is for incrementing the values. Button 2 is for setting the alarm. And button 4 it is for the backlight. Pressing it once will turn off the backlight. And pressing it once more will turn the backlight on. This is the simple alarm clock that we have built. It is very easy to build. Very minimal wiring is required if you have all the modules and the code is also very simple i'll give it for download so if you want you can build the project and let me know in the comments how you enjoyed building the project and just to show the retention of the values in the ds3231 i am removing the power main power so everything turned off and then giving the power back and you see everything is fetched back from the ds3231 module so to save the power you can simply turn off the backlight or you can even keep the main power off to save the power whenever you need to see the date or time you can simply connect it and check the date and time but one thing to remember if we remove the main power the alarm will not work one thing i forgot to show so i added it later and then adding it in the middle of the video while editing so the time is different of this video that is the temperature sensor of the ds3231 module right now it's showing 33.50 degree centigrade but if we give something hotter onto the temperature sensor which is embedded into the 3231 ic itself we will see how does it change so i am putting my hand which is a little warmer onto the ic see the temperature started increasing let me bring my soldering iron near the ic just to see if the temperature changes but i have to be careful that it does not come out of the module so i am bringing the soldering iron you see the soldering iron getting hotter and the temperature also increasing so i am removing the soldering iron this is just for the experiment to show you how the temperature sensor works i took away the soldering iron and the temperature is decreasing so you see the temperature sensor also works very nicely 
so this is it i conclude here today if you have any question or any query please feel free to ask me in the comments i'll definitely try to answer all your queries or comments and if you like today's video please hit the like button and share it with your friends and a request if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe that will give me inspiration for bringing more videos so today up to this we will meet again in a new video till then bye bye take care have a nice time and thank you for watching